this is one of these questions that you can see on the internet and uh, people ask this question and you be like, why? Why? I can understand why some people they do not know what to do in certain situation. But uh, look at this question. I am a lawyer. One of my clients is being sued. What should I do? Thing is, your client is being sued. Okay? Ask yourself first, what is he being sued for? Second, why, why did the client hire you? Um, what do you need to do for a client? Because when you're a lawyer of a client, they hire you to do a certain job. They do not hire you to do everything unless you put it in a contract. But you need to also figure out, okay, why do they hire you? What do you need to do for them? Sometimes you need to do extra, sometimes not. So if I see, when I saw this question, I was like, huh? why do you ask that question? But it seems like there is a misunderstanding here, what the lawyer really needs to do. But the question is, what can you learn from this? When you hire a lawyer, be specific what they need to do. What I'm trying to say is you need to tell them, okay, this is what needs to be done. Can you do it or not? It sounds simple, but most people don't do that. They'll be like, hey, I'm hired a lawyer. The lawyer needs to solve everything for me. It doesn't work like that. Because these people, are, those people are also people. And when they do something, sometimes they can solve it. Sometimes they cannot. So if you have a company out there and you need someone that can help you out to solve some things, yes, make specific appointment with them. Make a contract with them. In the past, I created a lot of videos about contract, what you need to watch out for. So even now, make a contract or ask them for a contract, ask them for confirmation, what they need to do, and then what you need to pay. It's that simple. So if you're hiring a lawyer, what can we learn from this? Be specific, um, give them specific tasks and tell them what they need to do. That's why you're hiring them. So they cannot ask this question. So there can also be another reason why they're asking this question. Maybe the, uh, the client cannot pay it or whatever. But it depends on the situation. I do not know much about it. But I thought, hey, let's talk about this question. If you have any question about these type of things, feel free to contact me. While you're at it, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. I will see you in the next video.